Hi, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 25th, okay? Now, we all know the timing is fluid and not every reading is for you, and I already did one, and I decided I'm going to do it over because, you know, I had a really hard time communicating. And then, you know, I was just sitting here thinking about it, and the reading was seeing very clearly that you're better off alone or seeing very clearly that you're better off getting yourself out of this troublesome situation but having a hard time communicating the facts I do I do believe that uh, somebody is wanting to go to a better place right they're wanting to get to a better place but they may be relying on the wrong people to get them there we have somebody here that is very capable of taking care of themselves whether it is in a business situation or a relationship okay we have the nine of pentacles right here okay so that is a very capable individual this is a hard worker who has a lot of skills whether it is business skills or uh, ability or capability to take care of oneself okay so we do have somebody here that is very capable of either starting their own business if it's business wise or being alone but there is fear. There's fear of being alone or not wanting to be alone. You know, moping, crying over a loss. Underneath it was the Five of Cups. Luckily, the Five of Cups was reversed. So that's prolonged grief. Okay, we have somebody here that has probably been grieving over a loss. And I feel like, you know, there is a better option. But it will require you to have faith in yourself. It will require you to have faith in a new partnership, require you to uh, trust your intuition and follow your heart and know your value and know your worth and act out of self-love because I had the King of Cups underneath that, okay? So there is self-love that is needed. We also have somebody here that is, you know, going to be following their heart and they, and they deserve love. They know that they deserve love. And right now, it may be better off to be alone than to fight. And because I say fight, because up here we have the Six of Swords, the very first card. What, becomes, what comes before the Six of Swords is the Five of Swords. So Five of Swords is a battle. It's a fight. It's a hostile situation. So there is a better place, okay? And it is time to go to that better place. But it will require you to... Remove yourself from the hostile situation. So I, I and, and that may be um, meaning that you don't communicate. You may not be able, you may, maybe you need to focus on yourself right now, like that Nine of Pentacles. I'm going to focus on my business. I'm going to focus on me. I'm going to focus on my life right now and underneath underneath down here we had the seven of cups reversed that is seeing very very clearly next to the nine of pentacles seeing very very clearly that the best option is me the best option is myself nobody else okay all those other options those are other options those are other people those that's those are other opinions the best option is me okay is what i want what my heart wants. So I feel like, you know, this is about focusing on self, focusing on value, focusing on, on love, your self-love, and doing what is right for you. Seeing very, very clearly that I matter, you know, and I'm saying I, because that's what you, you need to say that to yourself. I matter. Say it. I matter. My feelings matter. So what do we have for a message today? Knight of Swords reversed. This could be getting out quick. Getting out very, very quick. Making a getaway. We may have somebody that is out of control. Dangerous. Looking for a fight. 
It could be somebody here that's looking for a fight. Getting out of a relationship. Okay, I think we have somebody that is in a relationship perhaps with an individual that does not respect them. This is somebody that walks all over them, that uh, very, very boastful, very, very loud. I think we have a loud individual here who, you know, maybe this person lies or does not communicate well. This is intends or completions. I know people forget to mention it. I'm here to clear that up. You know, tens are completion. So I believe that we probably have the end of a relationship. Okay? I think there's a lot of bullying going on. This is what's practical. Okay? It's not going to be easy. This is laying a new foundation. I feel like somebody has delayed. They, they've, they've been, they have delayed. Okay? We also have a... a a new opportunity here with the page of or the page and the knight of pentacles okay that is a new golden opportunity it's an opportunity for success but it will take a lot of work we have somebody here who has been procrastinating they have been procrastinating keeping it safe you know staying in their safety zone King of Wands. Now, the King of Wands is given to take action. This is a slow and methodical approach. We have somebody here that is going, they could be, I'm going to change this up. We may have somebody that is coming in out of nowhere extremely fast. Right here. Okay. And, and, uh, that's very interesting. And this is very impulsive energy as well. You may be tested. You may be tested. This person may have planned it. But this is very impulsive. Oh my God. This is all over the place. It is. Because this, the King of Wands is typically very, very impulsive. But this is, this is a slow and methodical approach. This is a planned out. This is planned out. But this could be a dangerous situation. It could be premeditated. Sometimes the Knight of Swords in reverse is, is going slow as well. But I don't think that's what it is. We may, we may have somebody that, to you, is coming in out of nowhere. But this is planned. This is planned. It may be a surprise to you, but they planned it. But this is a relationship. It could be a, it could be happiness. It could be fulfillment. But I don't think it is. Mm -hmm. That that King of Wands is somebody that. Uh, seven of Swords reversed. Six of Pentacles reversed. Ooh. Seven of Swords reversed. Yeah, somebody is definitely getting an offer. They are getting an offer from somebody that has been very sneaky. This person is sneaky. They've been behind the scenes. They may have been spying. There is somebody that is spying. This is like a spy. It could even be a stalker. I don't know. Uh, seven of Swords reversed. Now, I'm not sure if, you know, i got to be honest with you. Swords are mental, right? I mean, they are. And this this is unbalanced. The Six of Pentacles reversed. I'm not, and this is like a crazy energy. And, and it's interesting because before I did my first daily, I was sitting here and I was thinking, i got to beware of those nuts. There's a lot of freaking nut jobs out there. And that's what I was thinking. I wasn't, I wasn't on the computer or anything. I was just sitting here thinking about, nuts <laughs> and uh, um so and i was gonna say it and i said no i shouldn't i shouldn't just keep it to myself it's, it happened because i read an email i read an email earlier today and it was just like <laughs> whatever 
there's a lot of <clears throat> crazy people in the world. <clears throat> it's interesting because I've had no problems communicating, but I think there is, and I do believe there's some sort of communication issues here. Um, and now I'm coughing, so that would represent communication issues. We may have somebody here that is, I mean, the, the Knight of Swords in reverse can be somebody that is uh, out of control, that is ignorant. This person is a know-it-all. They're looking for a fight. They have dangerous mental health issues, okay? It definitely could be the case. And it's interesting that I said premeditated. So I'm not sure what is going on. Uh, the Six of Pentacles reversed is, you know, losing something, not qualified, Rejection. We may have somebody here that has been rejected. You know, they're they're unbalanced. You know, and they, you know, there could be some illegal activities going on with the Seven of Swords reverse. But that is also getting caught. So somebody may get caught. They may get caught. They may get stopped because of the Knight of Pentacles. Could be, you know, that's somebody that could stop them. Somebody may be running into, you know, problems. We may have somebody here that is running into problems. Anyhow, um, seven of swords reversed. We have somebody. This is this is like an enemy in disguise. <laughs> oh, oh boy. There. I feel like we have an enemy in disguise here. I feel like um, you need to be careful. You do need to be careful. I also. I'm going to change the subject for a minute. There could. I'm going to actually change the whole story. I think that on one hand, you need to be careful with the Seven of Swords reversed. You need to be careful because there could be somebody here that is coming in. They, it seems like it's uh, a surprise, but it's planned. And I don't know if that if it's a bad thing or what. It may not be. It might not be a bad thing. But I think that you need to be careful because there's some sort of sly, sneaky behavior here. And when somebody comes into your life on a sneaky note, then you need to... Uh, you know, that's that's a good uh, precursor for who you're dealing with, okay? If, if, if they come into it and at the very beginning there's something up, if it wasn't genuine from the beginning, well then, like I said, that's a precursor for the rest of your relationship. So, and it's interesting because another story I was going to tell was, and I started, decided not to, was me and my daughter went out to Red Lobster tonight for dinner and it was absolutely disgusting but anyhow um it, the whole thing but anyway the minute we walked in there i felt uncomfortable and she felt uncomfortable instantly instantly and she definitely has a gift there's no doubt about it so anyway we both but we carried on with it we carried on and the, the lady sat us and she just both of us were uncomfortable with the whole scenario it just she just seemed like a the person that sat us was I don't know, just something was off. And uh, Sophie sat down and she said something to me about it. She's like, I didn't like that. And I was like, no, I didn't either. And then um, it took them forever to come to our table. You know, I'm, I don't like that at all. You, I was a waitress for years and drag your ass. So anyway, it took them forever to come to come to our table. And then it just the whole thing. And the, anyway, I went to the bathroom and the bathroom was disgusting. It was gross. I'm just telling you the story. I have to get, I'll get to it quick. And then I came back, and right when I sat down, she said to me, she said, look under the table. She said, this is disgusting. I had just got done saying to myself, this is disgusting in the bathroom. It was so gross. So, it, so we got to the table. I got back to the table. She said, look under the table. She said, it's disgusting. I was like, yeah, it is disgusting. And they still hadn't taken our order. And uh, I said, I think we should get up and leave. She says, yeah, I don't know. I think we should, too. And I said, well, I'll give him a couple more minutes. Then the guy came over. It had been a good 10 minutes. And uh, he, he took our order. And uh, he, came, he came, came back. Some other person brought us our waters, whatever. And they didn't bring us our biscuits until right before. And um, it was so awful. It was gross. It was terrible. It was like the word. I can't I tell you what. It was gross. She didn't like hers either. And uh, so anyway, we left. And I paid because whatever. Anyway, um, it was, the whole thing, from the minute we walked in, we knew 
something was off. And it was. So the whole moral of the story is your gut feeling is correct. If it is off from the beginning, it will be off for the rest of the scenario. Everything, the ter- food was terrible, everything. From the minute we stepped foot inside the restaurant. So that's just another. And you know, that, and then as we were walking out of the car, I, we, we talked about it. And from now on, when we go into any place, if we get a feeling, see ya. So anyway, this is, this is where, and it's interesting, I was going to tell the story, but I, then I wasn't because it was so long. We have a situation that is off. Definitely. There's something going on that you can't see. I think that you need to be practical. You need to use common sense. I feel like there is somebody coming in that may be looking for a relationship. They may have had their eye on a situation. I think that they probably don't have a lot to offer, but they want what they can get out of you. So be careful. Good luck.